I didn't expect to be able to run very much um, just from the way it felt, but uh, the training staff, Julie, did a great job of uh, getting me enough range of, uh, and mobility that I was able to protect myself. And at the end of the game there, I had to run to, to get the first down, and we got us into field goal range. So uh, uh, credit to them, and then uh, just trying to stay on it. And uh, we have two more weeks, so we got to keep doing it. Is there a point, though, you knew? Yeah, I tried to a couple times in the game where I was trying to get through spots that I usually could get through, um, and you could see that I didn't have that burst that I usually have. So um, I got the ball out of my hands quickly. I think you saw that. I threw a few, probably a few more check downs than I usually would throw um, and relied on my teammates to make the plays happen, and that's what they did. Patrick, there were a couple of uh, Yeah, it, it was. It's, I, I think uh, y'all saw it. Was, I said the stopping was going to be the hardest part, and of course, obviously throwing across your body cue to plant that right leg and twist across the throw. So I definitely didn't feel good. I think the worst one was when I fumbled. I like try to pick it up, and I, that was probably the worst I, I tweak that I had during the game. But uh, like I said, they got me. They got me close as they could to 100, percent and then um, I just battled through, and I'll have a few more weeks to get it ready. You know, bubble, you just Kind of lost the handle, yeah, it, it was. It wasn't. I think it was wide open. The guy, I wasn't throwing to Marquez. They blitzed um, until he was going to be wide open and just slipped right out of my hand. And obviously, I tried to pick it up and I didn't. Wasn't able to do that. So, luckily, it didn't cost us the game because there was a big moment in the game and our defense stepped up um, and got some stops for us there at the end. Patrick, you guys are really good at, at not letting the trash talk get back to the podium. Um, Travis made it obvious that he had heard some of that. Just how inside the locker room is motivating between you guys to, to kind of gear up. Yeah, I think guys were probably the most pumped up I've seen them going into a football game. Uh, a lot of trash talk coming from a lot of different places. I think no one picked us to win. If so, it was like 5% of people. Um, and uh, we think we've built up enough uh, enough respect to, to have a chance to go out and win every game. So uh, whenever you feel like you're the underdog, when you're playing at Arrowhead Stadium, uh, it gets guys ready to go. What was it in particular they said? Burrowhead stuff? Yeah, I mean, you got Burrowhead. You see, I mean, they beat us last time. They were talking about we, we got to play them. There was a lot of stuff. I mean, the mayor came at me, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I understand he's the mayor of Cincinnati, so he has to think about something. But uh, I mean, it's it, it's something that you just got to play the football game and then let your play do the talking. Patrick, when you tweeted it earlier, when you made that run, was, was that just back of your mind at all? Like, I don't know if I can push off this way. I got to make you run. Or how did, how did the process of you went into that run? Um, throughout the game, I think I just try to. I tried to do whatever I could to, to, to win, and obviously there was times where you could see that it wouldn't let me do what I wanted to, but uh, I was able to do enough in that last play to get the first down and, and, and get myself out of bounds um, and try to give Harrison a chance to win. And uh, obviously we got the flag, and he pushed me, <laughs> pushed me pretty late there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was just trying to – the defense had gotten stops for us like the last two drives, and we, we had opportunities to get in field goal range, and we didn't. So I knew I was going to do whatever I could to get us in field goal range, and then Harrison made the kick. Yeah, I mean, the way we've played the last couple games, I mean, you saw it was very similar to these last games where we get ahead and they come back and beat us, and that's a credit to them, man. They had a great team and great leaders over there. Um, but uh, we felt like we, we needed to get this win. We wanted to play this team, um, and uh, we got them at Arrowhead Stadium, and uh, we were able to finish the job this time. And, I mean, the job's not finished for us. I mean, we got a chance to, to go up against a great football team in, in Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and so we had to enjoy this uh, for about a day. Um, and then uh, get right back to it because uh, I've been in the Super Bowl, man, if, and uh, winning it's a lot better than losing it. What did it mean to you guys, to you personally, legacy-wise, to your organization to win it and see the Yeah, I would appreciate it a, a way more. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say that in a bad way. I think uh, when I first got in the league, it all, all happened so fast. Um, I won the MVP. I won the, I won the Super Bowl. And I thought that's just kind of how it went. You were going to play. I listened to Coach, what Coach Reed said, and that stuff happens. And... Now that I've, I've dealt with uh, failure, um, losing the AFC Championship, losing the Super Bowl, I know how, how much hard work and daily grind that it takes. And so I'm just excited to get to that game with the, with the teammates that I have here. And a lot of new team, teammates that haven't been in these Super Bowl games. And so let's bring them along and, and prepare them so that we can go out and put our best, best uh, foot forward. Patrick, what worked on the, on the touchdown pass to, to him? What did you see sort of pre-snap? And uh, I think him just threw up his hand and I'm sure you probably saw that. Yeah, no, it was a, he was kind of like the third progression in the read. We had a good protection going, and the offensive line gave me a lot of time. Um, and so I learned, I wanted to look at Kelsey first, and they did a good, they sent a double team to him. Um, and then I saw, so I reset back to the deep cross uh, that we had, and the safety jumped that. And so just both those safeties having the double team, Travis, and jumping that, 
Um, I, I just tried to get back to it, and I saw that, that hand go up. He's like 6'5", he has a long, long arm, so he threw the hand up, and I couldn't really see in front of him, so I tried to throw a line drive to him, and he was able to make a big play for us and a big part, uh, big part of the game. Patrick, you went into this game with about as many weapons as you've had in a long time, and then they just kept dropping us. What was it like to go through the game and look up and get Marcus King from the huddle and all that? Yeah, it was a wild week, man. Uh, we got guys back. We lost guys. We had guys kind of questionable or whatever you want to say. Um, and so um, I was proud of those guys and how they battled, man. Not everybody was feeling 100% out there, and they went out there and battled anyways. Um, but let's try to get those guys back now. And, and get, we have the extra week, and hopefully we can get them back, as many guys as possible. And, and the good thing about having a guy like Kemp is he was the guy I was throwing to in scout team and, and in training camp my first year here. So I've built up that, that trust in him and know he's going to be in the right spot. And uh, every time he gets in, man, he seems like he made something good happen. So I, I, was, I was happy for him. Last one, Patrick. Uh, Fred Beach said people didn't realize how hurt you were in performance tonight as to a great legacy. What do you feel like this performance, in your opinion, fits in your legacy? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to comment on it. Um, me, my goal is to win the Super Bowl, um, and obviously the AFC Championship is something that I'll forever remember, winning that Lamar Hunt trophy at Arrowhead Stadium, um, but to, to me, the job's not finished. Uh, I mean, all you can think about is that how, how are you going to get better? I mean, we're playing, I mean, this is a great football team that we're going up against. I think you've seen that the last few weeks and this whole entire season, um, so I know it's going to take the best that we got, um, and that's going to take us preparing this next week and the next week after that um, to go out there and play our best football. All right, thank you.